Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're at the Cryptopolitan. I'm your host, Satoshi Sean. Once again, thanks for coming by. If it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Try to get news reports out to you every day. Sometimes more than one, like if there was uh, breaking news, we got an exclusive, which we did today, about all the money that's going into blockchain in India. Um, no matter what, if you're an old subscriber or new subscriber, please crush that like button. Really, really helps us out. And if you leave a comment, I'll definitely get back with you in the comment sections below. Let's jump into the news today. Um, a lot of stuff with regulation going on. Um, Canadian regulator issues a warning about offshore uh, crypto company. Uh, the Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia Securities Commission, I wonder if they sell seashells by the seashore, uh, has issued an investor alert on August 7th, um, cautioning Canadian investors about a foreign company by the name of Gift App. I have heard of that project. Um, which is currently in the middle of holding an ICO for its gift token. According to the warning, gift app is not registered in Nova Scotia, therefore does not have the right to conduct the sale of securities. So I guess it's an STO, not an ICO. Because <clears throat> if it's an ICO, then it wouldn't, would be more of a utility. But anyway, I guess they're calling it a security so that they do not have the right to conduct the sale of securities and allow local residents on their platform, so they can't even use the platform. The company is registered in Bucharest, Romania, and is not even clear if they hold a local license. Should have went with Romania. Um, Nexus is pretty cool. Is you all probably know if you watch the channel, my channel, uh, Satoshi Sean, or this one. I have uh, like 20 plus years in the insurance industry, so I think this is anytime uh, blockchain is used for insurance. I think it's like a really really good fit. But five uh, United Arab Emirates-based Islamic insurance companies are going to use blockchain technology. Um, Adina, a blockchain-based insure tech firm that, based in the UAE, has uh, expanded with five new Islamic insurance companies to use blockchain on its platform. Um, they've expanded its portfolio of customers by adding five other insurance firms. Um, they operate the uh, platform that enables insurers to deal with claims and insurance procedures through blockchain, which is streamlined so much transparency. It's so much better for consumers. Um, Adina, the blockchain-based startup, has expanded with inclusions of the Dubai-based Amman Insurance, Abu Dhabi-based Al Wathba Insurance, Abu Dhabi-based Watania, and Dubai-based Nor Takfold and New Delhi-based Oriental Insurance Company. I couldn't really say that in America because people would call me a racist. But this is actually called Oriental Insurance Company. Um, so what's this looks like a pretty awesome thing, man. Um, I think that, like I said, when it comes to claim service, especially blockchain is awesome. Um, in Malaysia, the police raided the illegal Bitcoin mining farms. Uh, authorities in Malaysia report that they've conducted several raids on multiple Bitcoin mining facilities in the country, which were reported the avoiding electric bills for more than six months. Wow. They're avoiding electric bills for more than six months? The illegal operations became known to the authorities once one of the largest local uh, electricity and utility companies, Tanga National Berhad, reported that it has oh, not received more than $750,000 of payments for services rendered. I thought they made all that money and then reported because it was all out of, out of the ordinary. But no, they didn't. So I guess, I mean, if you're going to mine, you should need to pay your electric bill or cops are going to come busting your door down. Um, in New Jersey, the homeland of my birth, uh, two ICOs get shut down by the New Jersey Board of Securities. Board of Securities just for the state. Two ICOs um, have been put to a halt in the state of New Jersey for failing to comply with the country's securities law by not disclosing their registration address, numbers, team identities, and for also selling and promoting unregistered securities. That's like, the, I don't even know if it's a trifecta, but that's just a lot of bad stuff. Um, when it comes to that team, man, you got to know or else you're going to get burned. Uh, especially when it comes to any kind of platforms. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, regulation is coming. Also, 
in my homeland of Texas. Uh, <laughs> Texas regulators shut down a Craigslist crypto scam. Cra uh, Texas also we shut down uh, BitConnect. You're welcome. Um, but this is kind of kind of ridiculous. Financial authorities in Texas filed uh, a cease and desist order, which is the first thing, and then then they crush it against a cryptocurrency scam that was advertising itself on Craigslist. Investor promising investors 900% returns with their help. It's not a red flag. It's not a red flag that it's on Craigslist, but no. Authorities report that the advertiser was telling investors that if they provided the firm with $2,000, they would help them turn it into $20,000 within a few weeks. So many red flags. I mean, I, I want I, I don't want to say it, but people that would just believe that, you know, it's like a fool and his money are soon parted. Uh, naturally, though, such statements are banned all over the United States and are not supported by financial regulators whatsoever, especially when they're false. Especially when they're false. Also, it's on Craigslist. You should not go to a, for investment advice or anything on Craigslist. Maybe to buy gold or silver. But that's about it. Speaking of that's about it, that's about it for today. I'm Sean. It was nice hanging out with you. You guys take care, and I'll see you in the next video.